there had been a rainstorm on the island of Sodor. Small streams were turning into torrents, and all roads were flooded, so that all cars, buses and lorries couldn't get to their destination on time. This was causing confusion and delay. So the fat controller came to the shed. The range has been causing floods all over the island, and all the vehicles can't make their deliveries, he boomed. So all goods and passengers will have to be taken by rail, and you must all be really useful engines. I'll be the most useful engine, boasted James. No, I will, sniffed Gordon. I'm the fastest, I'll do the most journeys. Thomas hoped he could finish his first jobs as quickly as possible. He wanted to do the most journeys and be the most useful engine of all. Soon all the engines were steaming away to their jobs. James went to Nafford Yard to pick up the work. Henry went to the goods yard to collect sandbags. Doc went to collect some pipes. And Thomas steamed over to the warehouse. When he arrived, the yarn master was waiting with a huge light bulb. Thomas, you must take this new light bulb to the lighthouse near Norriby. Yes, sir, said Thomas. The bulb must get to the lighthouse before dark, said the yarn master, so the ships at sea can find their way safely back to Sodor. The men loaded the bulb onto Thomas's flatbed. The light bulb must be delivered safely, said the yarn master, so you must make sure that you go slowly and carefully. Slowly, wished Thomas. He wanted to finish his job quickly and make lots of journeys. Thomas blew a little toot of his whistle and slowly pulled away. Thomas trundled on. He huffed and puffed as carefully as he could. Thomas stopped at the junction. Gordon steamed by. Fast as and best, he tooted. Gordon looked very happy. Thomas felt disappointed. Thomas stopped at a signal at Ellsbridge Station. James was waiting. He was carrying workmen. They were fixing the station house roof. How many journeys have you done? asked James brightly. This is my first, said Thomas. Ha! laughed James. I'm on my third! There's no point beating that now! Thomas was cross. He wanted to go fast more than ever. The signal changed and Thomas chuffed slowly away. Thomas puffed across the countryside, very slowly. Then Thomas saw Oliver taking on coal. His trucks were full of roof tiles. Oliver was having a good day. I'm on my second journey, he whistled happily. Thomas was very cross. Oliver rushed past him. It made Thomas want to go faster than ever. Everyone's making more journeys than me, he puffed. I can be fast and careful. Thomas started to speed up. Fast and careful, fast and careful. But Thomas was going so fast he wasn't careful. The bulb started to rattle and shake on his flatbed. But Thomas didn't know. He was puffing very fast. Then there was trouble. Bumper was drilling some rocks on the line. A barrier was put up to warn the engines. But Thomas was going too fast to stop safely. He bashed into the barrier and the light bulb broke. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. 
the lighthouse will not have its light, and the ship won't be safe at sea. You should be more careful, Thomas, said Thumper. Light bulbs can break easily. Thomas knew Thumper was right, and he knew what he must do. Thomas raced quickly back to the warehouse to collect the new light bulb. When Thomas arrived, the yarn master was upset. I told you to go slowly and carefully, Thomas. I'm sorry, sir, said Thomas. I only want to finish this job so I can make more journeys. So with the new light bulb safely loaded, Thomas set off slowly and carefully. Then Thomas saw Toby at the water tower with Victoria and Henrietta. We're on our fourth journey, Thomas, he called. Thomas wanted to go fast, but he knew he couldn't. He must deliver this bulb safely to the lighthouse. Thomas arrived at the lighthouse just in time. The bulb was quickly unloaded. Thank you, Thomas, said the lighthouse keeper. And Thomas puffed back to Titmus shed. On the way home, Thomas met Arthur. Arthur saw that Thomas was disappointed. What's wrong, Thomas? he asked. I only made one journey today, replied Thomas. And I broke the first light bulb. Cheer up, Thomas, smiled Arthur. I made one journey too. I have to take some china plates, and I have to puff slowly and carefully. Sometimes slow and steady wins in the end. That made Thomas feel better. He knew now the slow and steady makes him the most useful engine of all.